Join us for a captivating question with Sadia Khan, who is a renowned psychologist and relationship coach who has dedicated her social presence to helping individuals and couples navigate the complexities of modern relationships. I think there's no benefit for a man, unfortunately, in the Western way of marriage. I think it's so sickening that, you know, we have this agreement that women, when they divorce a man, they can just leave with a lot of his money or expect alimony for the rest of their life. And one of the things I always ask women is, are you going to have sex with him after you divorce for the rest of your life? And she's like, why would I do that? I was like, then why do you expect payment for the rest of your life? That it's so strange that they want the perks and the lifestyle of the one that they attained from jumping on the back of their husband after the divorce, yet they wouldn't give anything after the divorce. They didn't even give a lot of that during the marriage, let alone after. So I feel like it's a, a really, it's almost a culture of creating sadistic women by pushing that kind of, you get half after the divorce. And they seem to say, well, you know, a, a lot of the excuses, oh, but I wasted uh, so many years being dedicated to him. I wasted, but well, you both wasted it. That's a, that's a risk you take. You, he also wasted many years being de investing in you and he could have been investing in lots of other people. So I just think that this, uh, that's why I would be, as a man living in the West, unless it's for religious reasons, I wouldn't recommend you getting married. If you're religious, absolutely. But if you're non-religious and your, your wife is, put, or your girlfriend is putting pressure on you, ask her why ask her why because a lot of them see it as a life insurance for after they get divorced they still have a payment plan this is the extremities this is not the average woman i would say this is more the extremities but unfortunately that is becoming the culture